Number two, part of self-care and self-love, eat, rest, sleep, exercise. Prioritize yourself. Eat well, all right? Especially sa mga frontliners who are also doing volunteer work now. Eat well. Make sure na you eat nutritious food. Get enough rest. Get enough exercise. Physical activity is very important kasi it raises the levels of endorphins or the happy hormones. And sleep is very important because it gives us that rest. It has a restorative value. It restores our brain functioning. Is this uh, a common thing, Dr. Kriza, sa mga, ano mo, <laughs> sa mga uh, classes ninyo uh, during your review classes? No? So may mga nakakatulog talaga, nakaka-rest sila during your lectures or tutorials? Yes. Please remember, in fact, kung, may, kung meron kayong maalala from this talk this afternoon, very basic stress management techniques now, which can really help you when you take your board exams later on. Dalawa lang talaga ang kailangan yung maalala. Ito yun. <laughs> Top 10 na stress management techniques. Eat well. Eat nutritious foods. Eat well. Wag mo na mag-diet siguro. It's important that we are healthy at this point. In fact, and daming, uh, daming those under my care, sila sabi nila, Dok, tumataba ako, I'm gaining weight. It's okay as long as you are healthy and the immune system is strong. And get enough sleep and rest. So eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat. <laughs> so kung maalala nyo to, then I am happy na. I'm happy na. Kasi these really are the most basic tips for us to be able to stay and remain healthy. Remember, now when we are sleep deprived, it has effects on our mood, memory, and overall health. What about mood, memory, and health? Remember, lalo na kayo, no? Now you're preparing for your board exam. Memory, in fact, is very important. Kailangan sharp ang mga memory ninyo. And how do you get that? When you get enough rest. See? Ito nakabilog, no? When... When there is a lack of sleep and or when you are sleep deprived, higher there's a higher chance of getting depression symptoms, irritability, di ba? Very common yun. I'm not sure kung napansin niyo pag kulang kay sa tulog, parang irritable kayo. When you wake up and then you feel na, na, na you can't do the things that you need to do. The focus is not there. Concentration is affected forgetfulness kaya nga memory na sleep is really very important for our memory and para our judgment our thinking our thought process becomes clearer and um studies have shown that um three to five years that's how much sleep deprivation can age your brain now when we are sleep deprived it can age our brain faster by three to five years. Among all, eh? among all of the other effects on our general health, no? when we lose sleep. Isa doon is we are, pag kulang tayo sa tulog, mas tumataas no? ang ating craving for sweet, starchy food. And that's why we gain weight when we lose sleep. Again, among other effects on our health. So, Pagkaya naman, after during your classes at tutorials ninyo with Dr. Kriza and the team, take naps. Ha? Take naps. And uh, how long do we take naps? Sa gitna, na? I mean during classes. Usually, uh, uh, kung around 20 to 30 minutes, it helps in boosting our energy. But if you medyo habaan, na? if you nap for about an hour, what happens is that short-term memory improves and uh, when we do that, so it consolidates, diba? there's consolidation of our memory from short-term memory to long-term memory. Kaya mas maganda pa rin na, na we are able to take naps and get enough rest and sleep at night. When the consolidation of memory happens uh, from short-term memory to long-term memory para mas maalala natin si yung mga pinag-aralan natin by the time na you will be taking your board exams already. Ako personally, I do this, ha? even in med school no? or yung sa college. Uh, kasi kahit na, cool, kahit na hindi ko natapos <laughs> ang aking mga inaaral noon, no? even if I am not able to finish studying, 
I prioritize sleeping. So ito, itutulog ko na lang. Na? Kasi again, studies have shown, evidence-based, that um, you are able naman na, to uh, get a clearer, clearer, ano pa rin, cognitive um, or um, uh, ang clearer cognitive state when we are able to get a good night's rest. And then you can think clearly and uh, process info well now when you get enough rest at night. 